Good morning. Good morning. Man. What was it? Um, so this is the Envision and Water Harvesting Prize, and I finished third for the prize, and I am in grade 10. So the prize comprised of three phases, where phase one, you tell them about your idea, so you submit a document stating what you're going to do, yeah. and then from there was the process of elimination for phase three, for phase two. So phase two, you would submit a video telling them about your water harvesting project, and then from there, they would eliminate the people for phase three and then that's when you build your water harvesting prototype and tell us about yours um so mine was actually uh, when i heard of this competition i wanted to solve two problems not just one mm. so i looked into the water problem and into global warming so i was thinking how can i solve the water problem and global warming at once. Then I looked at humidity because humidity is a factor to global warming, mm -hmm. but it's also water. So I tried to find ways to change humidity into water, and I did. So the humidity will be converted into water, decreasing global warming and making water. Wow. <laughs> and how do you do that? Um, so um, in layman's terms, you, we use an aircon unit that has a condensing unit condensing coil inside and it will cool down the humidity just enough till it's in liquid form that it can be extracted. Right, so I should imagine that the, that the, um, the project that you made was relatively small but how big would something like this have to be in order for it to be effective? Well actually ma'am it was relatively big, oh. it was about two by one meters and for, in order for it to work I think we need about four of these in each community in our country so it can pump out at least 300 liters of water a day for one community and the houses can maybe exchange between who takes water from who. All right, so the response to this yes, has been what? And, and how are you going to potentially roll this out? Um, well, nobody has actually come out yet, but I believe that in the future that this could be the way forward for our water harvesting project because, as we heard, in Cape Town they didn't have water, in Zanin they don't have water at the moment. So if we can start in rolling it out slowly but surely into these areas, we can solve the water problem. And the other ones that impressed you, the, the other ones that beat you? Oh, well, <laughs> they, were, they were actually very good and um, I think we could work together. If we work together, we can solve this problem in the next 10 years because the youth is the future and together, if we come together, it's stronger. Absolutely. Well, lovely talking to you and congratulations. And, Thank you, ma'am. And I hope we can roll it out because we clearly need it. That's yes, ma'am. Jared Reddy. Thank you. Thank you.